you're probably wondering, Spot, what is this box on your tabletop? And more importantly, what is inside this box? Rest assured, I can guarantee you already know the answer to that question. Yes, more model cars. Let's open her up. But I just realized something. I kind of messed up. Uh, yeah, I already have one. And that one's by MR and it's resin. Better quality. Mm. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are taking four of my cars in two different locations and parking them up to do a full collection tour. And of course, the fifth car is in Tokyo, Japan. And uh, well, unfortunately, there's a little update on that. Ken Sider will be filling us in. So we got all the keys over here. Got the Lambo key, it's pretty cute. Got the Mercedes key, pretty nice. We got the Toyota Cresta Bozozoku slash Kata Racer key. Miscellaneous keys, not bad. And of course, we got the power to the brilliant exhaust. Last but not least, never forget, this is the most important key to the Toyota Prius. Never forget. Man, oh man, the Super Legere is looking mighty fine. Now, contrary to what a lot of other YouTubers do to their particular supercars, to the project cars, we're gonna be keeping this relatively stock. Someone actually recommended that we tint the taillights on the Super Legera. Honestly, I'm gonna have to say that's a hard pass. I don't think so, but the exhaust will definitely get switched up. Stay tuned for that. Before we continue with today's full collection tour, I am proudly to announce that today's video is sponsored by none other than Keeps.com. Now, do you guys know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern bonus by the time they're 35? Neither did I. Food for thought. Prevention is absolutely key, guys. Keeps treatments can take four to six months or more to see results. So it's important you act right now and act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you save. Now, thanks to Keeps, you can visit a doctor online and get hair loss medication delivered straight to your door. No more nonsense at the pharmacy. No more awkward visits at the doctor. They deliver straight to your doorstep. You save time and money. It's absolute no-brainer, guys. And if you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, well, look no further, ladies and gentlemen. Go to keeps.com slash spot or click the link in the description below. Support the channel. Again, it's keeps.com slash spot and you're going to get 50%. That's half. 50%. Think about it. Half off your first order, guys. So, support the channel, guys. Click the link in the description below. For the time being, we got a lot to do and a lot to move. Oh, yeah. is the ear. The microphone on my camcorder does not pick it up. Trust me. Whoa. Turns right on. Woo. Let's get it, dude. Oh. Whoa, Mr. Sheep. A little squish there. Some may say when you put on the Takiyari, you get fingerprints all over them. We got uh, Steven and Daniel just polishing those poles real nice. Oh. 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 <laughs> that is, that is a hell, to the guy walking his dog there was fucking just like, what is going on? So far, it looks pretty good. We're just missing the Toyota Century and that is in Japan. I actually had Ken Saito assist me in filming a short little bit. So I was right about to start the full collection tour here, but Steven here, now, <laughs> can you explain to the camera what exactly that you found here on YouTubes? Some kid made a, Model of your car in GTA 5. Really? Let's. <laughs> yeah, let's look. Ooh, sounds pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, got a little air there. Whoa! <laughs> That's pretty dope. Wait, those came out? Yeah, they're, they're testing them right there, right now. Whoa. Mustang Mach E, you said? Yeah, it doesn't look right. Yeah, it shouldn't be a Mustang. Yeah, it should be called. It Mustang. should not be a Mustang. Absolutely it not. Be like Escape Electric or something, <laughs> not Mustang. This is the video a lot of you guys have been requesting, and this is actually an unbelievable moment for the Espot channel because of you guys, the audience, the viewers, the subscribers, everyone who's contributed to the success of this channel. Look at this. Woo. 
Oh my goodness, this is actually unbelievable. For a lot of those who don't know, I moved to Los Angeles in 2010 and I, all I had was this 2008 Prius. I'll go into more of the backstory in another video, but this was the OG Elite Mobile. This has 220,000 plus miles and baby, 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 she is still running super strong. It's a, it's a little dirty. It's gone in a couple accidents, but you know what? That's all good. And I'm proud to say that all the cars here that you see today in this particular lot has been paid in full, paid in cash, no leases, no nonsense, no trickery, cold hard cash, Prius, cash, Mercedes Benz, cash, Bose Zoku car, cash, Super Legera, why are they full mount? And of course, the Toyota Sentry, which is not pictured here, paid in cash. All the repairs, the maintenance, paid in full. So we're rolling. We got a lot of stuff happening in 2021. Stay tuned. But back to the Prius, missing the front plate, but that's okay. But this is the car that started everything on the channel. We used to, or we still do, take this car out to Beverly Hills, Los Angeles, like SoCal, OC, even the San Diego. And we even took it on a gold rush once several years ago trying to catch up with the cars but alas this car could not and this is the best of the best elite mobiles you might be wondering why because if it's four to five people it gets 40 to 45 miles per gallon it's super low key and you could drive endlessly around beverly hills and los angeles and not even sweat it these other cars they're more of a hassle but the prius this is the og mobile and of course in the driver's seat let's see what we got Woo! Mr. Sheep himself, locking it down. But man, a lot of good memories. This is where it all began. And then just about a year and a half ago, we went to Japan and we were thinking, what kind of car is going to really stand out? What kind of project car can we buy that will really elevate the channel to the next level? Stradman had the best philosophy where he was like, you know, I like spotting cars and filming them, but I want to own them. I want to own the supercar experience. So I took that philosophy to heart and I decided to buy a couple of project cars. And here it is, the 1994 Mercedes-Benz S600 V12 with a six liter M120 engine. Whew. Now, this is a very special car, close to my heart. It has, of course, as everyone knows, the six to one headers, I'll put a photo of that up right here. And of course the brilliant exhaust that cost $12,000 for installation, the headers, and of course the entire exhaust system. A lot of you guys give me a lot of crap because F-Spot, that's a lot of money. You overpaid. It sounds like a tin can. You guys really need to see this car in person to understand the craftsmanship of Sasaki-san at Brilliant Exhaust. Well, let me tell you guys, this car, really took the channel to the next level and that's when i really realized i should have bought more cars in the past i had an m4 before i started youtube and i never really did anything with that car took it to a couple rallies but that was you know a little tame but then i had the f type svr and then i didn't really do much on the channel other than really keep up with rallies as well and just kind of run around rodeo drive and film it from time to time now we have a full collection of my own cars and of course a supercar nonetheless to really take the channel to the next level in 2021 but of course you're probably wondering what else are we doing to this car we got the amg arrow two wheels right over here by bbs and they were paint matched of course by cms motorsports same color as the paint on top of here and we are putting on the amg kit on this car in the next month or two so stay tuned for that guys of course the interior is something to behold we got blue on blue on blue we got blue stitching blue leather and uh, we got blue velour and of course the exterior paint is also blue boom let's pop open the engine right over here bam there she is the m120 engine with the headers directly underneath the engine block so it was an engine out engine in service just to fit the headers and of course they're also wrapped in heat shielding and unfortunately i think on this particular side some of that has actually melted off because of the extreme heat this car has been through so much and a lot of money was spent on maintaining and fixing the car the transmission went kaput uh the ac condenser 
we need new tires, new brakes, new brake pads, fluids, oil changes, so much stuff that I can't even list it here. This car is going to age extremely well. With the AMG kit, oh man, this thing is going to be one of a kind. After the success of several viral videos with the S600, it was time to really expand the fleet. And that's when I bought this 1980 Toyota Cresta. Now, I'll show you the car in its original form before I bought it, but then I went to New Jack, which was highly recommended by Steve's POV, and asked him, can we throw on a bigger wing right over here? He paint mashed it, put a couple stars on it. They said we're getting complaints from the residents? Are you guys serious? Guys, I hate to interrupt this video, but we are we might be getting kicked out. All right, so I'm just gonna film as much as I possibly can before we get kicked out here. So, we got the Taki Yari that were installed. Two meters long, stainless steel, removable. And of course, we got the uh, we got the massive wing over here. We're missing a little bolt right over here. I think because of the rattle, the, uh, the highways here and the roads here in Los Angeles are not too kind. Easily replaceable, not a big deal. The hood fender's right over here with the triple star. And of course, we got the front splitter right over here. Boom. Now, I actually have two front splitters. This is the longer variant. And of course, this too is detachable. As you can see, it's held together by two poles. And yeah, I uh, like to keep it on because it looks pretty sick. And the shortened version is just sitting in my living room. You've probably seen it in my previous videos. And this guy is just not having any of it. Anyways, let's open up the interior real quick. It's a little messy. And we got the good old driving bucket seat. We got the roll cage in the back. And of course, we got a little Liberty Walk part right over there. And it can fit four people, but the rear doors here do not open up because of the wide body kit here. It's all good because we usually only have one or two people here because I usually stick the Takiari in the passenger seat here. This is mainly a show car. It's not really a car that you drive on a daily basis, but it is definitely one of the most fun cars I have. And of course, we got the shifter knob right over there. And it does have the siren in the back, as you can see, right over there. And it's got a custom horn that plays the Godfather tune. Well, let's open her up on the driver's side. We've got the custom steering wheel as well. We got another Mr. Sheep. As with tradition, we always put a Mr. Sheep in every car that we buy on the S-Spot channel. And you can see right over there, the security guards are getting a little ticked off because I said, just give me five, 10 more minutes and they won't give it to me. They're probably gonna call the police. Oh no. The original car actually only had two exhaust pipes. Now we have four. So he basically lifted the car, split them off two on each side. Bada bing, bada boom. I've got the Takiyari looking mighty, mighty fine. This is probably one of the most prominent features on this Kaido Racer slash Bozozoku car. Looking absolutely, dude, this thing is a looker, man. This thing's getting a lot of looks from the people walking on the sidewalks and of course the security right over there, boom. This is the latest addition to the F-Spot fleet. We picked this car up two months ago and it finally landed here in the United States around two and a half to three weeks ago and this thing is an absolute blast. This is one of 10 in white. It is an E-Gear and this was or this is a US spec car that went to Canada for 10 years and I finally brought it back. I believe I'm the either the fourth or the fifth owner, not really sure. And we still think the exhaust is stock with a muffler delete. That being said, this thing, man, is a true unicorn. And this guy over here is probably gonna call the cops, but it is what it is. We gotta finish the video ASAP, guys. <laughs> I already did a full walkthrough of all the options on this particular car, full Alcantara. We're missing the OEM floor mats. I looked them up, they're around $600 on eBay and on specific forums. We've got carbon fiber everywhere. And of course we got the confirmed, a radar jammer button right over there. It was confirmed by the second or the third owner of this car. I spoke with him and his dad confirmed that he had personally installed it as an aftermarket device on this particular car while it was in Canada. All right guys, so the cost has been called. We are probably just gonna move and I'll finish the rest of the collection tour in a little bit at another location. Oh, that's annoying. Ugh. Let's start her up. Uh oh. 
Guys, we're having some trouble, uh, technical difficulty, so to speak. We got the jumper cables. Apparently, the Bozo car battery decided to go out on us at the most inopportune time possible. Guys, what a shit show. We just tried jumping the Bozo car with the Prius. Did not work. The Lambo, it definitely worked. The V10, baby. I think we left the lights on on the Bozo car for a little too long and it just died out, man. What a bummer. What a disaster of a full collection uh, video this is. <laughs> and I think most of the security guards just bounced because they got bored. But uh, alas. I think we're good. I think we're solid. Where do you want Oh uh, yeah, in the trip, yeah. The Lambo is good at jumpstart stuff. The Prius, not so much. And the Benz, we tried that as well. And unfortunately, we just couldn't find the positive and the negative terminals. Everything just covered up. Or we're just a bunch of idiots. So, whatever. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. These guys have absolutely had it with us. What a mess. Most of those security guards were cool. It's just that one guy. I asked for like five to ten minutes. He just wouldn't give it to me, man. Jeez, now the sun's down. You guys want to talk about a car? Oh, we got leapers. We got leapers. Hell yeah, dude. If you guys want to talk about video, a full car collection video gone wrong, this is absolutely it. We got the we got the siren on as well. Taki on as well. Rolling in style. Just got to roll through the stop signs, man. You just can't stop in a manual car. This is probably the most eclectic, the weirdest set of cars here on YouTube. Right next to Boogie's Garage and Steve's POV. Anyway, so we got a guy over there just trying to beep with us because he said to keep it down. We're just trying to keep the car on so that it doesn't turn off. Um, anyways, that was a complete shit show. What do you guys think? Out of all four of these cars, which one of them do you guys prefer? The Prius? The Mercedes? The Bozo car or the Superleggera? And of course, don't forget the Toyota Century as well. Yeah, dude, I don't know. We got some employee over there like giving a shit about the cars being too loud. Man, fuck you, dude. Go back to work or some shit. Jesus Christ. We've been dealing with security guards, a bunch of Karens, a bunch of Kens. We can't get anything done. Oh, uh, Steven, sport mode. Don't forget sport mode. We gotta wake him up a little bit. Jeez, man. Honestly, we can't just, ah. Uh. I'm so annoyed, dude. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize for the little temper tantrum, but you guys understand, like, there's literally nobody working at any of these offices. Maybe like a skeleton crew. I don't get it, man. I just don't understand what the fuss is about. in the garage. Ladies and gentlemen, in true F-spot fashion, everything goes to shit and everyone gets mad at me. But that being said, hope you guys enjoy one of the most interesting, unique, and eclectic collections of project cars, regular cars, dailies, and supercars. So hope you guys enjoy that video. Quick walk around of all the cars looking absolutely mint. Look at that. With the Takiyari, we're gonna have to definitely to take those down when we park the car up, but yeah. Trifecta here, missing the Sentry. Gosh, the Sentry, dude. We were trying to work on possibly bringing that over here. Not really sure with travel restrictions and COVID-19 happening. That might not be happening, but stay tuned, guys. I really appreciate all the support and the love on the channel. We'll catch you on the next video, guys. Oh, yeah.